This has been a long time coming, and this artist is special because DPR Ian first worked as a video editor and director, collaborating with names like Icon's Bobby and Winner's Mino until he decided to pursue his own artistry. Let's dive into the editing and filmmaking behind the song, Don't Go Insane. <laughs> I'm gonna fail at that. Okay, match cuts. I got so excited I accidentally exited out. Okay, hold on, hold <sighs> frick. DPR Ian, he edits all his own music videos. He collaborates with a lot of people, but he does the majority of everything. And we can see that he's already creating like a sort of tilt shift with the lens. In post, he's adding a huge blur other than right where you're supposed to be looking which is the back of his head. We have all kinds of like smoke and atmospheric elements to create a lot of depth, confetti, butterflies flying around. It's, it's getting nuts already. The match cuts with the camera move, delicious. Ooh! And then right when the comes in. Okay, that was a weird way to explain that. We have a cut on action. He's lifting his hands up. The exposure gets lifted up. We have a black frame to create a ton of contrast. And then we cut into this shot also with the exposure lifted up and then coming down to neutral. But the thing that really sells it is the fact that there's wind on the second shot. And we hear a in the sound. It feels like there's been some kind of wing or just like a and that's what DPR Ian is so good at. He's so good at creating impacts in his music and just emotional moments. And we're gonna dive into that later. Let's watch a little bit more and then we're gonna talk about a little bit about the lore because it, it gets pretty crazy. There's a ton of sound design, love that. The little masking out of the title is so cool. Oh, that's sick. Bless my heart when the wolves take me away. Don't fall apart when I come back from the grave. Forget my charms. I'll never be the same. We've came so far only to drift away. Ugh. Ugh. It's so good, bro. DPR Ian was actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder as a teenager. So he has two main characters in his music video. One is the character of Mito, which is the embodiment of his low mood swings. And then the other character is Mr. Insanity, the embodiment of his high mood swings, which he says he honestly thinks of them like not as good. They're just crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room, a rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And so Ian has a crazy cinematic universe surrounded with these two characters. They each have their own goals. I am just diving in into the middle of it, so I don't know all the details. You can go in so deep, it's like absolutely mind melting. That's pretty much what we need to know here. I believe that this is like normal Ian, and then this is either Mr. Insanity Ian, or it's Mito. But bruh, take a look at this shot, bro. Okay, we got evil smoke coming out of the checkered gloves, but the background, he does this a lot, and we're about to check this out, but he rotoscopes himself out, and then puts some kind of weird effect on the background. And right here, we have a turbulent displace effect, which makes everything look all warbly. Warbly is such a great word. Say it with me, guys. Warbly. 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 Oh, that turbulent displace is delicious. A little like black bird. <laughs> Here's the little details that he puts into his editing. He does the same exposure thing where right at the first frame, it's super overexposed, but he's also totally messing with the colors. This is the actual color of the scene and he just completely throws it into whack right in the first few frames. Only to drift away. Here we go with the rotoscoping and just freaking out the background. He's also duplicating the background and putting it on different blend modes or maybe reducing the opacity. And some layers have an effect, like you can see the turbulent displace effect on this guy's head. But then there's also a layer where his head looks normal. And then he's also putting a sideways directional blur over the entire background and then just keyframing how blurry it is. 
It looks crazy. He does what some of the best music video editors do. They take the lyrics and match certain shots to certain sounds. So insane is like dun dun. And so he just matches that and does black on the word in. And then on sane, he does the same overexposed cut in effect. And then finally we see what I believe is Mr. Insanity, the first image of him right on the lyric insane. Makes sense, right? We create a lot of tension with this last push in right here. Whoa, wow. Ooh. Same thing right there on the word in, we cut to a completely new setup that we haven't seen. Who knows what this is, but it creates a lot of contrast. And then dude, even on the freaking word sane, the floor just got demolished. It started cracking. Deep breath for me. Just the little, little VFX details are crazy. And then this effect is a new one that he put into the background. He basically just took the background, duplicated it one, two, three, four times, and then he offset them a few frames and then put all the layers on a blend mode so you can see through all the layers, but they're all offset in, in time. So it looks like there's like a repeating effect. Just did that on the background so all the people behind him look kind of weird. And all these effects are great because, you know, the song's about insanity, so may as well use an insane effect. Interesting use of slow-mo right here. And this is like extra slow-mo. We're using editing software AI poweredness to create frames where there aren't frames. And that's why everything looks a little bit weird and not quite realistic, because it's not. The camera actually didn't shoot it that slow. And then we do a nice, directional blur transition so everything gets blurry we have this green hand that pops out this is mr insanity's partner in crime the green and we'll see him a lot later dude just the ability that he has to create impact with editing is incredible dude look at his face for that first frame the attention to detail bro oh my he's getting pulled out of frame we do a little dip to black just to create more contrast and then cut in to another action. You can tell when directors are good editors because they'll shoot things and create action in such a way where they know it's gonna cut so well together. And that's what he does. Every transition is heat. Oh, this dude literally just got out the grave. I've been feeling distant, just way out of control But I laugh inside Just so you can burn in the dark when it's time for me So just try all right, <laughs> so this is what I believe is another world. It's called the other side. And this is where Mr. Insanity resides. And there's a bunch of just pink people all over the place. Those are the citizens of the other side. And a confetti accompanies him. He kind of has Joker vibes, like for sure has Joker vibes. Check this edit out. Right when he touches the gravestone, that's what causes the next effect where he's like, Ugh, and we have a sound to match it. But if you just cut to that, Ugh, it would be cool. But what makes it better is that we have a cause for the effect. Boom! And the way he relaxes right after that. So good. And he always does this. This is a weird thing. I don't know why he does this so much, but he puts one frame of black in between cuts. Right there, right there. It's so weird. It definitely helps, you know, make jump cuts a little more bearable. All right, the pink people are not about this guy. The pink people are not about Mr. Insanity. Our boy Ian is obsessed with cutting in on an overexposed frame and then also a sideways directional blur. So good. 
He always has used a lot of VFX in his videos, which are great. But they're getting better and better, which I love to see. Alright, now Mr. Green is here. Mr. Green is, is there for the rescue. Let's go, Mr. Green. And again, on this little cutting shot here, <laughs> that sounds so bad. Well, when he's freeing, we also have that same camera shake double exposure effect where we see two images at the same time. Zoom in on it, it makes it feel way more intense. <laughs> the lightning right on certain beats is also just fantastic attention to detail. Right here, boom! <laughs> so good. See, when you get a good editor, that's also a musician that also knows how to direct a music video. This is what you get. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally. Little details like this are just so fun. Oh, just right on that sound. Ooh. Bro, look at this dude. This dude has a bedazzled hat with his picture for it. He is ready to commit, to commit arson. Ooh, that mash cut was crazy. If you guys are keen and watching this channel closely, you'll notice that something's a little bit different in the background. A chair from Flexi Spot. As an editor, it is so freaking important to have a good posture and try to avoid as much back pain as possible when you are editing. So I decided to get the FlexiSpot C7 and here are a few reasons why. Number one, there is really good lower back lumbar support that detects whenever you're changing your movements around. So if I'm shifting positions, it automatically conforms to what my body is doing, ensuring I have a ton of support. It's also adjustable in literally every single direction that you could possibly think of. It conforms so well to my height, to my weight, and just my body type. And I got, bro, I got a long torso too. I'm, I'm built like a gingerbread man. One of my favorite things is there's a forward leaning position. So it leans you forward and it gets you in a very, honestly, like a dynamic position, ready to edit. And it really just changes where my body is putting the weight so I can switch back and forth and avoid strain on certain muscles. Guys, here's the thing. If you're not sure about whether or not to buy it, I would definitely just go for it. There's a free 30 day return and there's a 10 year warranty. So this thing is gonna last you a decade. It's available in both mesh and foam options and bruh, this thing is so freaking comfortable. I literally can sleep in it. And if you're looking for a cheaper option, definitely check out the FlexiSpot C3. It has all the same ergonomical support as the C7. Whether you're a freelancer, finance professional, Hi dad, I see you. You should get this chair. <laughs> or if you're just sitting for, for long amounts of time, you definitely wanna take care of your body and your health. We got a special deal for you on this video. Use code C730 to get $30 off your purchase. Now is literally the best time to buy this chair. So freaking good, bro. That part, this bridge is delicious, bro. First of all, what an incredible match cut. All those crazy camera shakes where you were seeing double, we're pretty much doing that same effect over the entire bridge. So if you just look at the background, you'll see two heads. Everything's just a little bit out of focus, a little bit disoriented. Another thing DPR Ian freaking loves is flashing. Flashing lights and cinematography. You know why? Because it helps you create invisible edits so easily. If there's crazy lights all over the place, at some point, there's gonna be a dark frame. And when you have a dark frame, it allows you to dip to black so easily and have hidden cuts all over the place. He loves some flashing lights, just for this reason. <laughs> Ooh, and he's so good at just nailing those impacts. Boom! Just a really quick directional blur. When you put a directional blur on so fast like this, it looks like there's a quick whip pan because that's what happens when the camera is moving. It creates directional blur that looks like this. And so it's like a whip pan without actually doing it. Dude, I'm gonna drop this. What? <laughs> Whose idea was it to put this effect on this checkered face? That is crazy. Crazy. I have no idea how you do this. Like some stock bug eye effect. Just throw it on there. 
adjust the cell size to get smaller as you go. That is so cool. Okay, okay, and then on the brr, 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 again, we have like pretty much this like stock lightning effect that you can get in a ton of entry level editing softwares, but the attention to detail to use the RGB sliders to just change the color every single frame. And we're also changing the color of the lightning along with every single frame. So it just looks really, really good. <laughs> it just matches the music so well. <laughs> It's crazy. It's like it's like he also made the music. Ooh! Come on, bro. Also, one huge thing that helps is the attention to sound design. Lots of uh, those big downbeats that feel really intense and really they also have sound effects that go with them. They have a cinematic impact, a, a whoosh, and it just makes it feel so much better. But just look at this directing, bro. We cut back and forth. He does little laser guns, and it even sounds like it. It sounds like pew, 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 and it shoots into his eyeballs, and then we do a nice spin match cut, and then right when he grabs the seats, of course, he just does some green force lightning, you know? Mm. Mm. But see, it's that sound effect that makes it so good. So in this story, Mr. Insanity is partnering up with the green and they are trying to get through this really crazy door. And Mitsuo, which stands for Mood Swings Into Order, is trying to stop them. Ian just does such a great job using artwork like this to just express the emotions that he has. That's dirty. That's that's gonna be all of dance therapy. That's pretty much it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, bro, he's saying I'm saying like he's trying to convince himself that everything is fine. I feel that. It looks like they escaped the other side, or maybe they're in a new world and they're trying to get to the door. Maybe we'll have to do some more videos on the DPR Ian lore because it gets crazy. One thing I just really appreciate about DPR Ian is how much of an artist he is. He does so many things that I never see in music videos and it's very, very inspiring to me. He does such a great job at making incredible music, directing incredible videos, and then bringing it all together with the art of editing. If you want to learn how to edit music videos just like this, check out my editing course, The Editing Formula. It might be on sale right now. God bless you guys. Peace.